uh, in the lab to do the leaching. Basically, uh, in this column leaching test, which uh, I am going to show you right now, uh, basically, as you can see from here, this is uh, what I am calling a column. These are the columns. These four, in fact, in this study, I am using five of them. But uh, in this video, you can only have a view, a look at, 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 at four of them. So what, what happens first is we need to load these columns. The columns can be of the diameter of 10 centimeters. Others are five, diameter of 5 centimeters. In fact, the one I'm using here is of diameter 5 centimeters. So uh, we first of all need to, we need, first of all, we need to load the column. And uh, as you can see, the white part you are seeing at the bottom, at the bottom here, and uh, the one you are seeing at the top here, this one here, as you can see, those are uh, the bottom and the, and, the up and the top compartments of the column. So in this column, uh, you need to pack the fly ash uh, in a total height of between 30 to 35 uh, centimeters. So what I did, first of all, uh, uh, I first of all filled a, a, a column, one column, and after filling it in that height of, uh, I, in fact, my height was 30 centimeters, after filling it, fully, I emptied that fly ash, then I measured it, uh, then I got, I got the weight to be 800 and, 860 grams. So now what I did, I, I now started by fitting. I fitted my, my bottom, my bottom compartment, as you can see, it has a screw underneath. This screw, you tighten it to make the bottom compartment to fit in, in the in the column. So uh, after that one, you you put uh, as you can see you you put uh, you put this uh, filter paper. This is Watman paper filter paper number 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 forty. You cut it in diameter of five. Then after cutting it in diameter of five, you put it immediately on top of the on top of the bottom uh, on top of the bottom compartment. Then after that, you put a layer, as you can see from here. This is a layer of sun, sun retained in 30 micron sieve. Uh, it is about one centimeter. Then after that, you know, I divided the fly as the 860 grams that uh, I, I, had, I had got in my pre, 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 pre determination of the mass that could enter into the column. So what I did, I divided it into five different uh, equal equal portions. And now I started compacting each of the portions. I use a rama, as you can see, this is a rama. So you, you place the bottom part, this part, bigger part, on top of the on top of the each of the portions. Then after putting it there, you 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 raise this 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 load. Which is for the five centimeter five centimeter column which I'm using is 125 grams. Then you you release it and you are releasing it from 20 centimeters height. You just make it to go like that, and uh, you make you do it three times. After after the third time, you you remove you remove the the the, the, ram, the rama. After removing the rama, then you continue and you place all the all the other five. All the other five layers. So after placing all the five layers, you again put the the top uh, layer of the porous sand, just like you did at the bottom. Then after that, you put uh, you put the filter paper again, which you had cut in diameter of five on top of the on top of the porous sand 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 cap. Then now you you fit in you fit in the upper compartment the upper push compartment of the column. So now after that one, the, 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 the loading is already done. It's already completed. So the next step you go to is what 
we are, I am calling saturate, saturating, saturating the column. In saturating the column, I, as you can see from up, those jerrycans you can see, uh, they are of different pH because as you know, rainwater, the pH also keeps on varying. So I saturated each of these uh, columns you are seeing with uh, lichens. Those are those water, the, the water you are seeing in the jerrycans, the liquid generally which is used for saturating the columns is what we call the, the, the lichens. So those the, 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 the water there, I, 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 I prepared them uh, in different pH. I have for pH of pH of five. I have for pH of six. I have the neutral pH. I have the one for pH of eight. And the next column that I am going to set, I'm going to use a pH of nine because I want to see the leaching behavior within the various pH ranges. So now, in each of these columns, I have a pipe, a pipe coming from each of the each of the jerrycans. So now. This, these columns, these pipes comes from, from top there, then it comes and it enters the bottom part. It enters the bottom part of the bottom part of the of the column. So now once it has entered the bottom part of the column, uh, you leave it like that for uh, for for three days. I've just put it up there to give it enough head so that because I'm not using a pump to pump it into the into the column. I've just put it on top there too to give it enough head so that water can freely flow into into my column. Then after three days, the, the, the column is now fully saturated. Then what you now need to do, you need to start collecting the eluates from each of these columns. So these eluates, what you do is you collect, you collect them as per uh, the liquid solid ratio. And for each of the columns, uh, for a complete saturation test uh, for a complete uh, leaching test you need to collect seven different fractions you need to collect a fraction at the liquid to solid ratio of 0 0.1 uh, then a, a second fraction at the liquid to solid a ratio of 0 0.1 also and then the next one it's at a, a liquid to solid ratio of 0 0.3 the next one is at a liquid to solid ratio of 0 0.5 the next one is at one. Then the other ones you follow the, the specifications in EN uh, stroke TS 14405-2004E. Then now you collect them. So it means each of the fraction has a different volume. Like uh, and the volume depends on the depends on the weight of the of the fly ash which is in the which is in the column. Like for my case. The first, the first fraction, which is liquid to solid, at so, liquid to solid ratio of zero of zero point one, the volume to be collected for for each of those being leached with the lichens of different pH. For each of those, the volume to be collected is eighty six milliliters. Then for liquid to solid, the next li liquid to solid ratio, which is also zero point one, uh, I, I also I'm also supposed to collect uh, a, 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 a volume. Which we are calling the eluate uh, at 86 ml also, and just just follow it like that. So as you can see from the top here, this is now this is now a tube from the top from a saturated column, which now we use for collecting the eluates. Now as you can see, this this tube is just like uh, this thing that the doctors use for 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 putting patients on drip. So it has even a meter here, as you can see. For adjusting the flow rate, and for this the, for this column size, I need to adjust the flow rate uh, to 12 ml per hour because uh, I really need to 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 to, to mimic the, the rate of flow of ground groundwater in the aquifer. So now this one is used for adjusting it. When I push it up, I have opened it fully, so it means it will flow so much so you just keep on trying it is a matter of trial and error to determine the the 12 the 12 millimeter uh, milliliters per, per hour so as you can see for example for this column particular column the the the, 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 the tube is coming from up then coming through this meter then you 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 follow it up here up to down you see it is now going up to it is now going up to the boat the the, 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 the the bottle which I'm using for collecting it. So this is for a given 
liquid to solid ratio. Uh, liquid to solid ratios, you can see uh, the eluents. Uh, this is now the one which we are going to an analyze for, for uh, concentrations of heavy metals. So as you can see, what I, the, the eluents is being collected here. So after this, this uh, liquid to solid ratio fraction getting get reaching to the reaching to the reaching to the volume which I have already marked, already marked it there. This is for liquid to solid ratio of one. So as per this one here is supposed to be 800, 860 ml. So once it has reached this mark of 860 ml, uh, I will remove this bottle and replace with another bottle and collect another volume of eluate. So that is how you do it. But uh, before you start collecting this, uh, this, this, this eluates here, uh, for this particular fraction, I need to test the pH and the start. I just need to collect a very small fraction. I test the pH. I note it somewhere. Then once it has reached this mark, this volume I'm supposed to collect, I again check for the pH. The pH at the start and the pH at the end should not vary by more than 0 0.5. And uh, once it is varying between 0 0.5 and below, it means the unequilibrium has been breached. So I am uh, able now to, to, to remove it and replace it with another bottle for collecting another liquid to solid ratio fraction. If it has not reached, then I continue. It means there was maybe some problem and those kind of things. So I need to continue further until the pH, until the pH uh, uh, variation at the start and at the end falls below 0 0.5. So then now this one here, I'll take it for analysis in the atomic spectrophotometric machine, uh, where I will now determine uh, for each of the, like for uh, pH of the lesion, uh, of, of the lichen a uh, neutron I will I will I will check I will check for each of the liquid to solid ratio fractions for like 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.5 1 and up to 10 I will now check all those ones there yeah. and uh, the concentrations concentrations of L, the metals and other pollutants from 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 from, from each of those liquid to solid ratio fractions which you can see now from the samples which I've already collected here. Now these are, uh, uh, these are samples collected uh, at different pH and at different uh, liquid to solid uh, liquid to solid ratios. So now these ones here, I will take them, analyze them, then I will get to know uh, um, at say uh, maybe a pH of uh, a neutral pH. Uh, at the start, which is maybe liquid to solid ratio of 0 0.1, uh, what is the leachy, which element or which metal uh, leaches more faster? What is its concentration? Maybe like I talk of chromium, uh, what, is the, what is the concentration of chromium at, uh, in the, when I'm leaching it using neutral uh, lithium? Uh, what is its concentration at fra the first fraction? What is its concentration and the second fraction? What is its concentration in the third fraction? So now I'll get to know, and I will also compare what is the what is the what is the concentration of uh, maybe like cadmium at liquid to solid ratio of 0 0.1 for uh, neutral pH. What is its concentration of 0 point at 0 0.1 for maybe pH of five? What is its concentration at uh, at uh, at 0 0.1 for pH of 8, for pH of 9, for any whatever pH. Then I will get to know also how it depends on the pH because leaching uh, majorly is affected by the pH. It's majorly affected by the pH and, and the particle, the particle size. That's why before I loaded uh, the, 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 the fly ash in the columns there, as you can see, I started by performing the chemical and the physical analysis. Or no, on the on, on the fly as sample that I loaded in the so I know I know the chemical and the physical uh, qualities of these uh, uh, properties of this fly as which is there. So, but the major pro pronounced properties which affect uh, the leaching behavior of these metals out are basically the pH, which I I already know, and also the fineness and uh, the fineness which I've, I've also already determined. So uh, at the 